All right, in this lesson, we're going to be going over equation of a parabola and the directrix. So we're going to start by describing the types of parabolas that we have. We'll look at the standard equation of a vertical parabola and of a horizontal parabola. And then we'll talk about the steps that are recommended, highly recommended, I might add, whenever you're trying to find the equation of a parabola and the directrix when you're given the vertex and the focus. And of course, we will do some examples applying the steps. So what are the types of parabolas that we have? We have a vertical parabola. So let me draw a vertical parabola. So up, down. And then we have a horizontal parabola, which goes actually with a vertical parabola. You can go this way as well. And the horizontal parabola, you can go that way as well. So what, are the, what is the standard equation for a vertical parabola? So whatever, whenever you are dealing with a vertical parabola, so let's look at it this way, you have to remember that your directrix is going to be a horizontal line because your parabola, your parabola faces away from the directrix. And so it's going to look something like that. If your directrix is up there, your parabola will be most likely down here. So the, the standard equation for a vertical parabola is given as these are two different ways of representing the same equation. So you have plus or minus. This plus or minus actually is, is there because it helps you determine the, direct, the direction that you're going from the vertex to the focus of the parabola. When we do some examples, you see how all that works. So this is what your vertical parabola is going to look like. You have plus or minus 4p, y minus k equal to x minus h squared, where x h, where x h is the vertex. Just remember that. x h is the vertex. Sorry, x, sorry, sorry about that. It's going to be HK, rather. HK is your vertex. HK is your vertex. And then for your horizontal parabola, just remember that your directrix is going to be a vertical line and your parabola is going to face away from it. And we have 4PX minus H equal to Y minus K squared. Remember that HK is your vertex. Very important to note. And also remember that your, your vertex is the mid, is halfway between your focus and your directrix. So let's go ahead and talk about how we generate these equations of a parabola. So how do we go about doing this? We want to find the distance between the vertex and the focus. And just as uh, something you should know, that the distance between the vertex and the focus is most likely going to be your P. That's going to be your P. And how do we know whether it's going to be positive or negative? If the direction from your vertex to your focus is in the positive direction of that axis, then your P is going to be positive. But if the direction from your vertex to your focus is in the negative direction of that axis, then you're going to have a negative for your p-value. And then we're going to then identify the directrix and then the type of parabola. And then we're going to create an equation using the information we, using the formula that we, we spoke about earlier. So let's go ahead and, um, and do some examples. A few things to remember. Whenever you have a vertical parabola, your directrix is going to be a horizontal line. Whenever you have a horizontal parabola, your vertex is going to be, a, sorry, your, your directrix is going to be a vertical line. So let's do some examples and put all of this to practice. Find the equation of a parabola and the directrix if the vertex is at the origin and the focus is at negative two zero. One of the things you're going to learn for me as I do this topic is pictures make things simpler. So you have to make sure you draw some pictures. So let's draw an axis here. So it says that the vertex is at the origin, which is right about there. That's your origin. And your directrix, 
so we try and the focus is at negative two zero negative two zero so that is right about here so negative two zero and your your focus is negative two zero your origin is zero zero so now what we're going to do here is we're going to figure out in what direction is the p you can see here that this is our vertex and this is our focus our p is going in that direction so that already tells me that because our p is going in that direction we're going to have what we call a horizontal parabola horizontal parabola and our directrix is going to go in the opposite direction that we went for the focus so it's going to go in that direction so it's probably going to be your directrix is going to be right here and you're going to have a vertical line so you're going to have x equal to 2 as your directrix now let's go ahead and figure out the equation of the parabola the equation of the parabola is going to be i'm going to write the is i'm going to write one of the formulas here and then we can derive the other one if we want to we're going to have something like this x minus h equal to 4p y minus k squared one of the things that i find very interesting about this is that whenever you are whenever you are drawing your graph or coming up with the equation for the graph the the axis that you the axis that your graph is going to be on is actually the one that does not have the quad, quadratic term on it so this is going to be plus or minus what i mean by that if you look at this this is going to be a horizontal parabola so your quadratic term is going to be on the vertical axis which was on the y-axis or we can say that the we can also say in this case that because you have a, your directrix is a vertical line your vertical axis is going to have the quadratic term so just different ways of saying that so the other way you can write this is also plus or minus 1 over 4p x minus h equal to y minus k squared. Let's just double check the formula from the ones we did earlier. So this is going to be horizontal parabola. This is what a horizontal parabola is. Plus or minus 4p x minus h. So I just had the 4p in the wrong place. So let's just correct that. Plus or minus 4p x minus h equal to y minus k squared. Okay, so it's going to be right here, plus or minus 4p, and then we're going to, I knew something looked off, and so we're going to make sure we correct that, so this is going to be 1 over 4p plus or minus, alright, so now let's go ahead and get our value for p, our value for p is from 0 here to 2, so p is equal to 2 units, and p and our quadra our graph is going to be negative because from vertex to focus it's in a negative direction so we're going to have negative right there and so let's go ahead and plug in the values our vertex is so zero zero is vertex zero zero so we have x minus h x minus zero equal to p is two 1 over 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 and because we're going from the vertex to the focus in the negative direction we have a negative here and then y minus 0 squared so this is going to be x equal to negative 1 over 8 y squared so that is how you come up with that equation alternately you could also say negative 8 x minus h equal to y minus k so you're going to have negative 8 x equal to so y minus k squared equal to y squared so it all depends on how you want to write it some people prefer this method some people prefer that method it doesn't make much of a difference okay so let's go to the next one find the equation of the parabola if the and the directrix if the vertex is at the origin so we still have vertex at the origin right there and the focus is at 0, 4 the focus is at 0, 4 which is right there so this is our vertex this is our focus 
just looking at this we can see that focus is at zero four so there are four units from the vertex to the focus so there are going to be four units from the vertex to the directrix in the opposite direction so you're going to have y equal to negative four as the equation for the directrix and so now let's go ahead and draw our, get our equation so it's going to be this is going to be a vertical parabola so that means the quadratic term is going to be on the horizontal term which is x so we're going to have plus or minus 4p y minus k equal to x minus h squared and so let's go ahead our vertex is 0 0 this is our vertex vertex is 0 0 so let's go ahead and plug this in plus or minus and our p is 4 units so p is equal to 4 because from the vertex to the focus is 4 units so plus or minus 16 and we have y minus 0 equal to x minus 0 squared so plus or minus 16 y equal to x squared and you could also say well this is going to be plus because why is it plus the reason why it's going to be plus is because from our vertex to the focus we're going in the positive direction of that axis so you can also say y equal to 1 over 16 x squared so these are exactly the same thing let's go to the next example find the equation of a parabola and the directrix if the vertex is at 6 3 okay let's do this the vertex is at 6 3 let's make this 6 3 and the focus is at 6 9 6 9 okay so you can see here that this is going in that direction so we're most likely going to have a vertical parabola so it's a vertical parabola and we're going from so we need to find our p so we're going six units up from the vertex to the focus so we need to go six units down from the vertex to the directrix so three minus six is going to be y equal to negative three y equal to negative three and so let's go ahead and come up with our equation for the parabola so we're going to have plus or minus 4p y minus k equal to x minus h squared our p is equal to 6 p equal to 6 and we're going in the positive direction so and p is going to be positive so we're going to have plus 24 y minus what is our k our k is the y coordinate of the vertex let's get our vertex 6 3 is our vertex y minus 3 equal to x minus 6 squared so we have we can leave it this way but normally the best practice is to i mean you can leave it this way it's fine but we could also simplify this and say y minus 3 equal to 1 over 24 x minus 6 squared and some may go one step further and say y equal to 1 over 24 x minus 6 squared plus 3 they, this all mean the same thing and now finally let's do our last example find the equation of a parabola and the directrix if the vertex is at 2 8 vertex is at 2 8 right there so that's our vertex and the focus is at negative 8 8 so this is 2 8 the focus here is at negative 8 8 so we can already see that from our vertex to our focus is going in that direction so our, our equation is going to be negative we're going to have a negative value for p or the direction the negative tells you the direction is going to face so it's going to face a negative direction so let's go ahead because we already know that the vertex to the focus is going on the is going on the horizontal axis we're going to have a we're going to have a horizontal parabola so it's a horizontal parabola and because we're going from 2 to negative 8 that's 10 units we're going to go 10 units in this direction as well so you're going to have x equal to 12 as the equation of your directrix 
So directrix, we have x equal to 12. And for the parabola, we have x minus h. So this is plus or minus 4p. x minus h equal to y minus k squared. So let's go ahead and plug in our values. Our vertex is 2, 8. So we have, and then our p is 10. But then we also remember that it's a negative because we're going from the vertex to the focus in a negative direction. So this is going to be negative 40. And then we have x minus 2 equal to y minus 8 squared. So we can simply go ahead and say x minus 2 equal to negative 1 over 40 y minus 8 squared and we can go one step further and say x equal to negative 1 over 40 y minus 8 squared plus 2. Depends on your teacher, these three are all acceptable uh, equations for this parabola. So these are the things that you need to know whenever you are trying to get the equation of a parabola when and the directrix when you know the vertex and the focus.